Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is usually telling us how to blast the sugar out of our diets <laughs> so we can shred those unwanted pounds. But he's also just happens to be a graduate of H. Harvard. That's right. Yes. He has a new novel, <laughs> The Ancient Nine. Please welcome New York Times bestselling author and one of our favorites, Dr. Ian Smith. Hey, guys. How are you? Hello. Hello. No food, no demos. We're just talking. We're just oh, talking. I like that. I, I, I like absolutely that. love this. Okay, and as, you, as I mentioned in your uh, intro, you are a graduate of Harvard. Yeah, you know, I've been writing this book for 25 plus years. Really? When I was a senior. Uh, I got into this secret society called the Delphi Club. Back in the 1700s, these societies started at Harvard, and they are ex extremely exclusive and very privileged. And I, somehow, I don't know how, because I'm not rich, I wasn't a legacy, but in the middle of the night, an envelope was slipped underneath my door, and it was an invitation to go to a cocktail party for this place called the Delphi Club. Never heard of it before, uh -huh. and didn't know that Harvard even had secret societies, because I was from the other side of the tracks. Yeah. Um, and then I started this process and got into this very exclusive club that... You know, we had members, the Aga Khan was a member, um, President Roosevelt, both President Roosevelt have been members of these clubs, yeah. the Kennedys, mm -hmm. you name it. So the who's who of America, and I got in. So you get to write it all about, like, how, how does that work out? Well, I don't know how it works out, you know. Okay. Because I, I, <laughs> I took an oath uh, yeah. to the club. But I, I knew as a senior that this experience was so unique that one day I had to write this story, and that's why I started writing it back then, because I felt like, Others who look like me and talk like me are never getting behind these doors, and I wanted to share the story. I just felt like I needed to share the story. Oh, my goodness. I have a question. How is it that you're even allowed? See, I'm a little, I'm a little nosy. How is it that you're even allowed to even give those details about the secret society? Well, like I the don't, name and how it was processed and how does that happen? Yeah, I don't yeah. think about being allowed, you know. Uh, I okay. think about, you okay. know, I just sometimes do what I do. But the other part of it is that I do say... It's a novel based on real events. Okay, okay gotcha. Okay. So I don't spill all the beans and all the secrets, but I do, you know, take you into this world of privilege. And it's interesting because this, the Ancient Nine is a secret society within a secret society. Okay. So the Ancient Nine is a group of men. They are protecting the secrets that are behind the walls of this, of this very famous elite club at Harvard. Okay, so Dr. Ian, how does your brain work? How can you be a medical doctor and then you can write books about health and then you're a novelist as well. I read your first novel, The Blackbird Papers, which yeah, is actually yeah. one of my favorite books. <laughs> no, seriously, it's one of my favorite books. How does your mind even operate like this? Well, because I love story and mm. I don't believe you have to be either left brain or right brain. Yes. I believe you can be both sides. Mm -hmm. And so I've been writing and loving fiction for a long time. It's just that people know me for talking about diet and exercise and health but you know I write all the time I have novels in my computer you know as long as this room but yeah. I haven't published them yet because everyone wants the the diet books but this has been a passion I watch this the genre the mystery suspense genre all the time and I just said find my publisher we got to publish this. the story's too good and I want to do it before someone else does it because mm -hmm. no one's written about these these clubs yeah as extensively as, as I have that's great. Wow. That's great. That's great. <laughs> you know, um, it gives me like a little flair of like the skulls. Yes. And uh, I know that your alma mater is mm -hmm. the, the backdrop yeah. for, for your story. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more sure. about that? So the skulls uh, is based on Yale. Yale has mm -hmm. skull and bones and other secret societies. Harvard societies are older, um, and they're still not very diverse, and mm -hmm. that's one of the issues. Got is you. That very few black people can get in. Mm -hmm. uh, no women uh, have been getting into my club. Uh, and so it's time to change. I believe that, by the way. It's, it's time ah. for a new era for sure. Uh, but these club, it's all cloaked in mystery. In fact, um, I don't know if we have it, but I showed you some video. Mm -hmm. I brought some video of the club to see what it looks like. These are huge oh, wow. mansions that are around Harvard Square. They're owned by the members and the grad members. So the university doesn't own them. Yeah. So the university can't do anything to them. Oh my goodness. They've tried to disband them. They've tried to penalize the students, but the members own it. And so they can't really influence these clubs. And as I said before, you have people who are Supreme Court justices who've been members of these clubs. So mm. very wealthy, powerful people. But this mystery is really about getting into the club, but also it's a love story in there too. So okay. I love love stories. Nice. So there's a love story between the main character and yeah. one of the dining hall workers. They fall in love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you come from Danbury, Connecticut. That's yeah. your hometown. That's raised hometown. by a single mother with your twin brother. Yeah. Tell us about how your upbringing has really uh, molded you into the man that you are today. Yeah. There's my mother right there. I saw hey, her this hi. week. Uh, I, I opened up my book tour at my small little library in Danbury, Connecticut, yeah. where I grew up reading books and my mom was there. Uh, you know, she's just tough. She worked three jobs to get us through college. I have a twin brother who went to Harvard also. And um, she taught me how 
how to do everything. Yeah. She's just a bomb. So she still, still treats me like I'm 10. That's okay. By the way, <laughs> that's you okay. Know, tell me to say thank you. I'm like, Mom, I got kids myself. <laughs> right, I mean, you know, right, right. But exactly. I guess once always a parent, you know, you're going to be a parent. But uh, she's great and yeah. wonderful. And, um, She's a lot of fun. Good. Well, if I can put a stamp of approval on the way he writes his novels, I am doing that right now. So please make sure to pick up The Ancient Nine. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Ian. You, Dr. Always a pleasure to be with you. Absolutely guys. fabulous. <laughs> and uh, you can find his new book anywhere books are sold. That's us. Uh, that's it for us today. Oh, that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Well, I'm going to close again. I like yes. that.